Hello, everyone. I'm Taha Yasir from University College Dublin. Uh, I'm going to talk about football today. Uh, that is uh, one of my favorite sports to watch and to play. And I suppose that's the same for you. We all love football because it's unpredictable. Uh, a lot happens in a single match. Recent studies uh, identified around 1,600 different events uh, just in a single match. And because a lot is going on in a match, uh, it's very difficult to predict uh, outcomes. And that's the main reason behind popularity of uh, the sport. Uh, as you can imagine, there are also very recent fashionable uh, machine learning algorithms to use this data uh, in order to predict the results of a match. Um, and they do a great job. They can even predict the chances of injury of players. But uh, they are very data hungry, and we cannot apply these algorithms to uh, historical data uh, matches that happened, you know, 20 years ago, where we have very little information and data about them at the moment. So we wanted to devise a very simple yet robust predictive model. And let me start with an example. Uh, imagine Crystal Palace is playing against Manchester United, and if I ask you what's your prediction and you have not much of information, only the results of the previous matches that these two teams have played in the league so far and the uh, cumulative uh, points that they collected, uh, 59 for United and 42 for Crystal Palace. Uh, your best bet and prediction probably is for uh, United to win. If I tell you that the, the, the host is Crystal Palace and uh, United plays away, you might reconsider your prediction, you might give more chances to the home team. Well, if you're interested, the result was uh, this. Uh, well, um, you might say that, okay, uh, I can uh, quantify my uh, predictions goodness by looking at all the matches. Uh, data points here represents individual matches. If the home team wins, uh, it's one, otherwise it's zero. And uh, here on the x-axis, I plot uh, I use the difference in the number of points that the two teams playing against each other have collected so far. If I have a better prediction, a perfect prediction, the points on top would go to the right and the points on the bottom would go to the left. I can also fit a sigmoid. Um, and if it's a very sharp sigmoid, then it's a perfect prediction. Well, it's not quite the case here. And the other thing to note is this shift to the left here, which simply means that there is always more chance for the home team to win, uh, controlling for the strength of the teams measured by the number of points that they have accumulated prior to the match. Um, well, one thing that you can say is that uh, it's not only the number of points they collected, but also against whom they collected these points. If they played against the stronger teams, they should kind of increase the weight of those points that they collected and how we can quantify the strengths of the uh, opponents the same way, looking at the points they collected so far and the teams that they collected these points from, and so on. Well, this is basically eigenvector centrality that you might have uh, known from network analysis. Uh, you can build a directed network uh, based on prior matches and calculate eigenvector centrality for the two teams that are playing today and compare those scores uh, before making your predictions. Uh, you see that uh, the curve becomes slightly steeper, which is um, a better prediction. Uh, you can compare it with the best uh, uh, predictions from betting markets, uh, because they use state-of-the-art technologies and data. And you see that our model is comparable. It's not exactly as good as uh, the state-of-the-art, but it's comparable and it's very simple to apply to historical data. Uh, we applied it to 11 major leagues um, uh, in Europe over many years. And uh, what we can measure first is that the predictability has increased over time in uh, at least major leagues, the bigger ones. Uh, all of them show a kind of upgoing trend in the level of predictability uh, that we could quantify. Uh, if you look at the home advantage, the, the offsets of the curve, uh, and also you can directly measure it from data. You see that the home advantage has uh, decreased over time. It doesn't matter where you play. If you're a strong team, you're going to win. And finally, you can look at the inequality of the points at the end of the season. Using Gini coefficient, you can quantify inequality. And you see inequality follows exactly the 
uh, predictability that we have measured over time. Well, in conclusion, um, stronger themes become stronger, uh, home advantage is vanishing, and uh, altogether, uh, football is becoming more predictable and therefore less exciting. Thank you very much for listening, and uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you.